Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you the My 3D Base Low Rhine Pump Action Kit for the Kronos. Uh, I recently got this Kronos from a thrift store. I've done minimal mods to it. I gave it the 6 ball mag. I put a K26 in it and I improved all the seals. Um, I have plans for it uh, past the pump kit uh, integration. I'm going to make this into a Chrono mag. Um, once I get that, I'll show you guys another video. But as of right now, we're going to be installing all this. Um, as you can see, I've put each of the hardware screws and uh, nuts into little piles in the order that they'll be used in. Over here, I have a drill because you have to drill holes in the front orange cap on the Kronos. I have screwdrivers, I have a hex wrench, pliers just to help me build everything. But let's go ahead and take this apart because I have to get inside to start drilling everything apart. Okay, so I've gotten the shell open and what you need to take out is this front orange piece here. So you can connect this front piece to it. There's four little holes here and it all clips together like that. I need to mark the four holes should be right here 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 and here yeah so um, you, you can sort of see those sharpie marks that I put in um, but you can see that's why I have the drill so I can get the screws in. When I initially drilled the first holes they were a little off so I had to widen them a little bit so that they could go into the 3D printed front muzzle. So I'm just going to go ahead and screw those in using these first four screws over here. The They're the longest ones. Alright so my GoPro actually overheated, so I had to take a break for a second, but we're back to it. We're attaching these side plates on. They sit right here, and the screw port for the slide sits right in that curved part, right? Just like that. And I need to mark where to drill. And I'll use this. That should work. So what you need to do now is grab the longer the longer bolts you have here and push them down through these countersunk holes on the top through the shell. Beautiful. All right. And you're going to want to take these nuts and screw them onto the bolts through the back of the shell. All right, so that's one done. And you do the same thing to the other side with this one. Again, the little curved part allows access to the screw port right there. I'm going to mark them up again and then drill. Alright, so as you can see, I have the two side plates attached. And I'm going to screw up this side, the slide, onto the blaster. <laughs> now that I've got the slide on, the next step is to attach these onto the shell here using these little small pointed screws. Everything's all already uh, have holes in it so you don't have to do any of that yourself. There's four of these screws on each side. Alright, that's one side on, and now 
Other side, same thing, four little pointed screws. All right, I have both of the little guide rails on. Next step is to take the pump arms and attach them to the pump. Yeah, yeah, I like this. And you're gonna wanna use the, the remaining long nuts that you have, nuts and bolts. There should be six, six left of them and you just pop them on here, like on this, this bit there. And they just pop in and then you tighten them up with the nut. All right, so I've got the pump arms attached now. And what it does is that this, the pump arms sit right in there in those grooves. Ah, all right. Let's just click everything into place. And for these, you're gonna wanna use the small bolts that you have left, the four little ones. And they go in through, they go in through the holes right here. All right, guys, so, um, I forgot a step. Um, what I figured out, what I was doing wrong is that I forgot to put the nuts for the short bolts inside the, the holes on the back of this black plate here. So I fixed that off camera, but don't be um, all kinds of dumb like I was and forget those because then you're gonna have to do what I didn't, take off the slide and take off the black piece. All right, so after you put on the bolts, I don't know what the problem is with this side. Um, the hole in the aluminum just isn't lined up with the port on the plastic. And I don't really know if it was just like a mistake in manufacturing. I feel like it should be fine. But you have to put these little plates on. They just, they just click on really easily. That one actually clipped on really easily. The, uh, this one on this side, I had to file out the in inside of the holes because it just it just wasn't working. But that must just be because I only have one bolt head on this side for it to click into. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then the one with the three holes, they go up here. So I put the faceplate on and whole thing's done. Um, it won't, it won't really catch. I don't really know why. I need to get into that in a little bit, but uh, it should be fine. <laughs> 